sorry I gotta kick you out. It's just I work early. It's, uh, it's fine, don't worry about it, trust me. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. Where to, man? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch that. Where should I head to? Airview Apartments. Mm, I just dropped someone off there. Real cool girl, too. Uh, what was her name? Um, Jess. Jessica. Does that ring a bell? No. Uh, she was blonde. She was kind of tall. No? Okay. So how was your night? It's fine. Yeah? Coming from the bars? Yeah, man. Cool, man. Which one? Hudson. Oh, nice! My girlfriend just moved right down the street from there. How was it? Was it good? I mean, she's been trying to get me to come out, but... Gosh, I've just been so busy at this job. You got a girlfriend? Oh, yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch on a sensitive subject it's, or something. It's not. I don't. Well, then you are saving a ton of money. I mean, trust me. I basically had to take this job just to afford my girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, um, could I get your opinion on something? I promise to stop talking. What? Nothing, man. Yeah, sure, I would love to. All right. What do you think? It's nice. Um, she must be really special. You happy? Oh, I've never been more happy. She's amazing. I mean, yeah, she's a little mad at me lately because I've just been so busy with this job. I haven't had that much time with her, but I know once she sees that, it's all gonna be worth it. I mean, this sounds corny, I know, but I am so in love with this girl, man. Yeah, what's that like? She broke your heart. She didn't. Didn't she? She didn't break my heart, okay? I chose to leave and she chose to stay. That's all. Oh, well, oh, that doesn't mean it's over. You can't get her back. I mean, you should just head down to her place. Yeah, she got married her. yesterday. I am sorry. That's terrible. No, all right, that's, that's life. She took the best option she had. It's simple people, they're simple. Came at the right time, he had a nice job, they got along, whatever. Love is not in that equation. Mm, what do you mean? I mean people are so afraid to be alone that in the end they will take whatever they can get. There is no special force pulling two people together, it's all by chance. I mean love, true love, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's a noble idea but has no real place or significance in reality. Yes, I get why people want to ignore the obvious truth, I mean it's nicer, it's easier, but... I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid you invest your whole life searching for this somebody, this ideal, this thing that doesn't exist because the truth is the person you end up with, it could have easily been anybody else. Mm, no. Uh, yeah? That's not true. You're wrong. I mean, I'm sorry you can't see that, but you are. Here's the deal. I mean, sure, she wasn't the right one, but that doesn't mean the right one's Would you just shut the fuck up, okay? I will tip you $10 to just stop talking. Thank you. Hmm. 
when I first met my girl. Twenty dollars, please. Look, I don't want your money. I just want to change your mind. You're not gonna change my mind. When I first met my girlfriend, I was at this coffee shop downtown, and I don't even like coffee, okay? But for some reason, one day I woke up, I had this urge for coffee, so I went to this cafe downtown. And when I was walking in, this girl was walking out. And I remember thinking to myself at the time, this is the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And as she's walking out, she stops right in front of me. And she smiles. And I was not prepared for that. I, I didn't know what to say. I just stood there like an idiot. I, I think I literally forgot how to speak. But something in that moment changed me. Um, I felt something that I had never felt before. And I knew... I couldn't live without that feeling again. So I went directly to the apartment of the girl that I was dating at the time and I broke up with her on the spot. I told her I'd met somebody else. I mean, logically, I couldn't explain it, but the next day, I went to the same coffee shop at the same time. And I went the day after that, and the day after that, and every day until finally. After a year and five days, she came strolling in. She smiled. I swear, I would have gone a hundred years had it meant the chance to see her again. And, um, well, I mean, we've been together ever since. And honestly, I've, I've been happier than I ever... <laughs> even imagined was possible. I hate you, man. I mean, I like you. You're, you're a good guy, but... Boy, do I hate you. <laughs> yeah, um... I'm just a hopeless romantic, I guess. <laughs> That's for certain. But I guess that's not the worst thing to be, right? No. No, it is not. Well, for your sake, for my sake, mostly your sake, <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. Well. Looks like we've arrived. You got me. Oh, I, I can't accept this. This is this is way too sure much. Sure you can. Um, just, just take your girlfriend out to uh, somewhere nicer. Or something. Man, I, I don't know what to say. But thank you. Hey, don't give up. I have Hey, I thought you had to work all night. Yeah? Yeah, except this really nice guy tipped me a hundred dollars. Come here.